Hey guys, in this video, I will go over the danger of adding Docker group to your user account. So I've been noticing many users making the mistake of having Docker group for their daily user account. The reason people do this is because when we want to run a simple Docker command like Docker images, we can't because we are not part of root. So we have to run the sudo command There we go. And lots of people don't like having to run sudo for the Docker commands. So what they do is they Google things like how to run Docker without sudo. And one of the answers suggests you to um, add a Docker group to your user account. So let's go ahead and do that right now. There we go. Now I'm part of the Docker group. And if we want to run the Docker images without sudo, we can now. Good. Well, is it really good? Not really. So basically, um, this Docker group allows you to have unrestricted access to your host machine, just like root. And um, I'll show you how we can um, abuse this Docker group privilege and a uh, non-privileged user account on your host machine. So I'm not part of root, so I can't create things like a file on a root directory. So let's see how we can abuse this. Um, we're going to Google uh, Docker group privilege escalation. And let's click on the second link. And let's run this command. And here we go, we are root. So this is our container, not our actual host machine. But this is our host machine. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a file on root directory on the container. And here we go. Well, will this affect our host machine? Well, it's running the command inside the container, so probably not, right? But when we actually check the read directory on our host machine, boom, there we go, we have the file A. So, essentially what this command does is it takes our entire disk of our host machine and mount it onto our container. So, our container is basically going to have everything in our host machine and be able to make permanent changes to it. So this is possible because Docker group allows you to have unrestricted access to your host machine. So what I recommend is to not give yourself a Docker group. Um, instead, use a non-root user Docker engine. And you can see how to do this right here. Run the Docker daemon as a non-root user. So yeah, TLDR, do not add Docker group to your daily user account. It's basically making you run a root shell every time. 